I've hidden my jigsaw. You'll never get it. And then I have 10 gold feathers now, so I'm not worried. I just come through like, what up, I got gold feathers. And you can take all these things out relatively quickly and with ease. So there you go. I don't think they actually blow up either. I think they just touch you. Like, they can only hit you. I've splintered him. I don't want it, really. Yeah, I'm pretty sure th those ones aren't even TNT boxes. They can only hit you, and then you'll get hurt. So if you just want to roll and peck a lot, save your feathers for it. I just do it to save time, really. Because sometimes you could be a you can be in there a while, because some of them take, like, two or three hits, maybe. So there's my 200 limit. Don't need to collect any more. And we're out of here. Now I'm going to hit the old front of the boat. Because, again, I'm saving the bitchy part for last. I think I've got everything up there. Another douchebag pipe. I'm gonna get these notes without falling in, because if you fall in, you gotta come all the way back up here, and it's a bitch. Top of the rare flag, because why not? I don't know why they should have put something up there, like a Jinjo or something, but I guess. I don't know. Give me a Mambo head. Give me something. Speaking of give me a Mambo head, instead of putting one up there all cool like they hid one in the boat. And another pipe that won't eat you, so off we go. Oh, thank God I did this first. Yeah, you need to come in here before going to a later part, and you'll see that in a little bit. But Four notes. Got ourselves a fan. First, we're going to check this room out. So, I don't let the fucking free guy get out of my way. We got a jigsaw piece. We got some fans. I see some mambo heads. And that room, I'm just going to call that room death. We're going to get to it after we get this ginger, though. I want to come in here and make sure you hit that, because that slows the turn speed of the fans, which helps you a lot in the long run. I'm pretty sure it's not possible to get through there before slowing those down, so let me make sure I have everything. I believe I do. Okay, so there's a reason you don't want to leave the purple Jinjo for last. That's because the purple Jinjo is under the water in a tiny hole, and you lose air twice as fast as this one. Also, the camera's a bitch, swimming is hard, and... If you save him for last, you have to stay underwater even longer for the whole puzzle piece animation thing to happen, so... Be wary of that. Also, there's eggs in there for whatever stupid fucking reason. Like, anyone's gonna go get those eggs. Oh, I need... Oh, there's a puzzle piece I missed. I don't know. I made that look a lot easier than it usually is. Usually swimming in this game is harder than I made... Or... Harder than it seems, but... I almost forgot about the little dolphin who's trapped underneath the, uh... Anchor. So I'm gonna go get these notes first, and then we're gonna go head over to him. Stupid little TNT boombox things. Screw you. Three eggs will do it. I usually don't bother with them, but they get annoying, so. I like how the bees don't bother you if you don't bother them, but as soon as you kill their thing, they attack you with uh, furious rage only bees can muster. Cause bees are freaking scary. Alright. Anyways, there's a dolphin in distress who we've let land her there and drown most of this time, so. Go see what the hell he wants. <clears throat> Alright. What's up, little buddy? I'm trapped. Help. Get this thing off. Snorkel. Alright, his name's Snorkel. Well, the only way to get the anchor off Snorkel is to swim up to where the anchor, anchor is being held. Ankle. Well, the anchor is being held at. Again, even though you're up here and it looks kind of clear, this water's still very polluted, so you want to get out um, pretty quick. <laughs> Four slug guys line the walls. Super easy to kill, just getting kind of annoying at this point. But I'm not complaining. No, I'll be complaining later when we get to the shitty part of the level. But... Oh, I didn't know you were here. That guy surprised me. Four notes, obviously. Blah, blah, blah. You've been through this. Don't miss some bullshit. Hit the anchor button. And very painfully and slowly, they drag the anchor through his body. But he takes it like a champ. And he poops out a little jiggy for you, so... That's pretty sweet. Also, I know I wasn't on that anchor switch, but it moved me back to it. Anyways. Yeah, leave some honeycombs for yourself if you ever need them. You can come back up here. Or if you need them now, there's four easy ones, so... I always have a very tough time getting down the anchor hole again. Because I get stuck on this stupid part. There we go. Hope I don't drown. Gotta find me a jiggy. I don't know where the jiggy is. There we go. The 
don't want to be underwater very long like I am. Oh god, I'm gonna die. Alright, there we go. I made it to the surface. Oh, one bubble. Can we do it? Are we going down now? Not like this. Alright, good. We made it. That would have been shitty. Speaking of dying, that's probably what I'm about to do. After I climb to the top, I keep forgetting about puzzle pieces I need to get. I'm antsy to get to the part that will kill me for whatever reason, but no, we Like most of these levels, you gotta climb to the very top at least once. And some levels you gotta do it four times, but we'll get to that later. So you get a mambo head and a jiggy for climbing to the top of this thing. Um part of me always wants to check both sides of these uh I don't know, round I don't know what you call them. Part of me wants to check both sides of these circle things. And there's no need to. There's nothing on one side that isn't on the other, except up here where there's a jump pad. There's a jump pad over here. Oh, God damn it, Bill Murray, no! Alright, see what I said earlier about saving up your honeycomb so that way when you fell, you could live it? You'd be pretty darn close to death right now, or dead if you had any honeycombs at all, if you hadn't gotten any of them throughout the game. So, I'm gonna try this again, and hopefully I won't die to the easiest things to kill in the game, so... Na, 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 na. I'm just, I don't know. I'm antsy to get to it, but I'm really dreading this next part because I will probably die here. This is the only part in the game where I know I will probably die rather than live. But It's one of those sections where you fall off and you're done. And it's very easy to fall off. Douchebag. Alright. Shock jump up here and you got yourself a mumbo head, but that's not the grand prize. As always. Seven... Oh, and up here we got ourselves a Jiggy Wiggy. How many are we at now? I hope it's nine. Eight. Oh, there are two. Okay, never mind. Never mind. Eight is the perfect number. So this douchebag of a door leading your gateway to hell is here. I'm going to crack that open and in you go. find it smart to go ahead and clear both of these dick bags out now. And to save time, I fall and then land on the ladder. You do whatever you want. Now, you can enter this door, or you can jump up and go on the honeycomb shape opening. Get yourself a second honeycomb for this level. And now the part of this level that I hate. This is a big old factory room. I don't know. This is where all the, where all the clanks turn and shit like that. So I just keep doing backflip jumps. Some people don't like to do it that way, but... Alright, there's a good side to go to and a bad side to go to, and I think that, yeah, okay. So, we're at the stage, you remember earlier, a few episodes back when I told you, get all the easy mambo heads that are there. Because they're gonna be mambo, or I get all the easy mambo heads, because there are mambo heads later on that are a real bitch to get and aren't worth it. These are the mambo heads. Let me get these notes real quick. These uh, things, I don't know, rudders, whatever they're called, they spin. And they stop momentarily, and then they spin again. And it's really fucking hard to stay on them when they're spinning. It's hard enough to stay on them when they're stopped. When they're spinning, they're a real bitch. There are two mambo heads you can get on either side, and I'm going to bypass both of these MFers, because I will probably die if I try to get them. And there's a reason I'm coming to this one first, and that's because it's harder to get over, and it takes longer. But more on that later. I'm going to get the free guy here, I don't know, just because I like being able to see through the window. I guess I could have got those eggs too, but here's one of the two fan switches. And we don't want to hit them both now, there's a good reason for that. Ugh. Because I want to get this jiggy, that's the reason for that. So when you hit the fan switch, the rotors go slower and that's good. At least on the side you hit them on, well maybe on both, I don't know. So you can get through here and you can get the jiggy. Hooray, jiggy nine. The reason I've been dreading this part so much is because it's very easy to fall, even when these fans are going slow, as I might do here, they can still hit you, and hurt you, and knock you back, and kill you. So you just want to be real careful with everything. If you take too long on these things, they start to rotate, you fall off, you die, end of story. You try to get those mambo heads, and I do not recommend that at all, you will probably bite the bullet, and it's not worth the mambo heads, especially if you've collected any earlier on in the game. I'm taking a long way back just to get these notes. And the reason that I went the other way first rather than this way 
is because this is a lot easier to get over than the other one, and I'm going to be trying to get out of here in a hurry. So not only do they have this retarded part where if you fall off, you die forever, uh, they want you to do it very quickly. They want you to blow through this section kind of fast. Um, and once you get out of here, you're not home free. You don't have to just get out. You gotta, you'll gotta, you see what happens, all right? So here we go. Second fan. Jiggy in the back of there. Those stop. If those things turn on or if you try to go when those things are on, they will instantly kill you. And you have a little over a minute to get through. Now, the good thing is that after you hit both of these fan switches, this stops completely. I'm going to wait because I don't want to hurry and get through there. But, yeah, you don't have to worry about that stuff spinning anymore, so that's good. Those uh, little bars. Oh, God. About lost it all. Okay, so now I think I did that pretty well. I'm in coming through. I'm pretty sure I'm going to get it. But on the off chance that the timer runs out and I don't get it, or if you were playing through and you try to get the... Uh, you try to get the Jiggy in there before turning off the fans. What's going to happen is they're going to touch you one time and you're going to die. It's not like you're going to get hit and blown back. You're going to touch it and then you're just going to be dead. And that's also going to suck. But I've got a little bit of time to spare, actually. I did this one rather quickly. You don't just have to get in here and get the Jiggy, either. You have to get it and then you also have to get out before the timer runs out. And there you go. Oh, and then stay alive because the water's trying to kill you. That's the main reason why this level sucks. But I seem to get off uh, without too much of a hitch. That's good. I really expected to fall off at least once when I was in that room. I made it I made it look easier than it is. And I don't always do that. I'm saying that a lot this game, but I'm not... Uh, I'm getting pretty lucky for most of my stuff. Um, such as, like, taking up all the snowmen in one hit and getting through that section without a flaw or anything like that. That's normally not what happens when I play this, so don't think that. But... Let's view our totals here, make sure everything's all cleared up. Fuck! Where's it at? Don't you don't know? Okay. I'll be back when I find that son of a bitch. Mambo head. Okay, so I found it, fuckers, and luckily it didn't take me that long. But, yeah, you gotta come back in the kitchen where I got the Mambo head, and I said that there was one bitch of a note over here. Turns out, this note isn't the biggest bitch in Bitchville. It's this motherfucker, again, in the corner over... Yeah, there you go. 100 notes. There's a note back in that corner. And just in case you forgot where the kitchen was... Damn it. Just in case you forgot where the kitchen was. It's up here by the front of the boat. It's not the bad one. There's also a mambo head here I snagged. I don't know if I showed you that or not. But, yeah. Uh, I'll see you when we exit Rusty Bucket. Okay, so we're outside Rusty Bucket Bay again. Um, that is probably one of the worst things that can happen to you to this game. Is when you get to the end and you've done everything and you're missing one fucking note. But we're done with uh, basically this side of the world for now. Actually, probably for just a few seconds. There's uh, one more thing we got to do before we go ahead and move on here. We can actually swim to the top of this now because it will actually finally take us somewhere because we've hit that second switch. We could have came here before, but uh, if we're doing since we're doing the levels in order and everything, no real point in waiting. Oh, when did I get so low on feathers? There's nothing in that one. Grun ah, Grunny Jiggy from Rusty Bucket. <clears throat> don't forget about it, I guess. It's don't, but it's going to be kind of hard to. You have to come through here anyway. Also, that can break open. Not everyone can figure that, or not everyone figures that out. Uh, understandably, it doesn't look like it can break open. But we want to hit this. Water level number three. And no, we don't want to hit it just so we have to skip those stairs. You get 30 seconds, and 30 seconds is actually not very much time. But swim straight down. And through here and then you got to come up and then I think it's on the right side yeah and you got to be kind of quick with it so you come up you want to go to the right side of the wall or the right wall and swim straight up and of course as fast as you can you don't want to run out of time it takes a long ass time to get up here and I actually ended up at the perfect spot there this is a spot you can only get to when the water is at the three or the third stage if you screw up, you go back, you hit the three switch again, and everything's all right. And this is actually the only Cheeto page we're going to find is Banjo and Kazooie. <clears throat> what up, Cheeto? Bear and Bird get good at finding Cheeto, so another spell they shall have. That traitor book has pushed its luck, so in the burning fire I'll chuck. Find Cheeto, which won't. Code you must enter on Sandcastle Floor and Treasure Trove Cove is gold feathers. Well, thank you, my man. Your feathered buddy that you've brung, useless like a pile of dung. All right, so yeah, there's Cheeto page number three, and now we're officially done with this section of the level. 
uh, forever, to the best of my knowledge. Yeah, forever, unless you, obviously, unless you miss something when you play through the game. <clears throat> but we are getting ready for the final level in the game, and coincidentally, the final level in the game. Uh, stay away from this fucker. He blows up, and he's a douchebag. Anyways, the final level in the game is also my favorite level in the game. Fucking dick bag. Also, my favorite level in the game, and we're gonna go ahead and unlock that now, and then I think I'm gonna call it quits. Mainly because I have to go back to the entrance to enter those cheats, and for one more thing that you'll see in a little bit, I'm gonna call it quits for this session, not forever. Go ahead and burn out the last of my gold feathers on these douchebags. You can get through here without using gold feathers. I just hate these things with a fiery passion. Don't you run out on me. Thank you. Okay. And Ran out of gold feathers, but... Let's see how many hits this guy takes, just because I'm curious, and he's one of the final ones. Also, a Bruntilda I usually miss. Two. Three rolls. Okay, so that's about as strong as the enemies get here. Hope the bolt... Okay, the bull's not charging me. What up, Bruntilda? Gruesome Gruntilda's favorite pastime is flying radio-controlled bats. Okay, I normally miss this Bruntilda. I don't think I've heard these answers before. This poor guy called Greasy Grant was her first and only boyfriend. Poor Greasy. When she was younger, Grunty used to have a baby dragon- That is so badass! Radio-controlled bats... And a mofokin dragon? Hit the buffalo in the butt. He collapses. You can't kill him. I think you can knock him over with gold feathers, but he's not our concern right now. He probably, he, he'll attack you, but it won't be a big deal. So that right there is a stage, or not a stage. That right there is a musical note door that will take me to the end of the game. And yes, I have enough notes to get in there right now, but I'm playing through the game for 100%. I'm shooting, I don't know what I'm shooting for, but I'm not going to open up that door right now. I'm going to open up that door after I beat the last level. So we're stuck at 50 red feathers till I punch in that cheat. There's a reason to go back there, but I don't think I'm going to do it now, and I don't know why. I'm pretty sure I should be going back there, but I want to see what's over here. Oh, never mind. This is way more important. Booyah! And that spits out a puzzle piece that I'll show you later. It's actually near the very beginning of the game, in Grunny's Lair. Uh, we could have gotten there before, but it wouldn't have had a puzzle piece thingy, so I couldn't have filled it out. <clears throat> Excuse me. Couldn't have filled it out any time along the way. Come over here to get the Mambo Head, and then go home. Because there's one more thing I want to get before I call it quits the evening. Free life up there, you can get it. It's pointless. You'll, yeah, not going to get it. Anyways, there's something very easy to miss I actually didn't know about until a couple, I don't know, months ago. You can come through here. There's one on both sides, but just be weary. Oh, yeah. Very easy to miss. Very tiny opening, but the grass bends down for you, so. Come in here, and there's a cauldron, and this cauldron is very important. It's a super short, yeah, super shortcut. That is the cauldron by Clanker's Cavern near the very beginning, or near the very entrance of the game. And if I was going to open Click Clock right now, I would just jump into it and go all the way back. But, I'm not, because I think that's wrapping it up for this episode. I didn't think I could make that jump. Yeah, I think that's wrapping it up for this episode. Um, I want to thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Leave a like if you liked the video. Leave a like if you liked the series. Let me know how it's going, because we are getting near the end, actually. So, I'm going to finish it anyway. So, if you don't want to see any more, fuck you. But anyways... Uh, yeah, next time we'll be tackling Click Clock Woods. So I want to thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed. I'm Thundershot, and I'm out. See you guys next time.